Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy the FWTI to the E back again with a brand new video. Now this one is about the Champions League proposed deal to make the Champions League competition worldwide. Yes people, UEFA want to take the Champions League worldwide. So you could be playing a domestic game on the Saturday and then on the Wednesday you've got to go to India and play Barcelona. I mean, what's that all about? It's just UEFA trying to line their pockets again with more money. Now, this is a ridiculous, ludicrous idea. It's not the first one um, that UEFA's had. And this one, unfortunately, is one that they are, they are seriously, seriously suggesting. Along with that, they are also suggesting that now playing their Champions League games on a Saturday. Now, where does that leave all teams, like not just the English teams or the Scottish teams or... Anywhere, really. All domestic games are played on the weekends, mainly. You know, you get the odd one here and there in the middle of the week. But most of them, domestically, are, paid, are played on the weekend. And now the Champions League want you to play games at the weekend. And on top of that, they're talking about flying you to China, to Thailand, to Abu Dhabi, to Dubai, to India, to wherever to play these games. I mean, it is an absolute joke. I don't know what UEFA are thinking about. It shows you that UEFA do not think anything about the fans. Is wherever they can make the biggest bit of money. I mean, Leicester have done the impossible, made it to the Champions League. They want to visit. They, they want to visit places like Madrid, Juventus, Barcelona, but you know all these big grounds like the Bernabeu, the New Camp, Bayern Munich. You know all these places they want to visit. The fans want to visit them. The players want to play the play in these arenas. And now UEFA think it's all right to go and play around the world. Why? You, it, there will be hardcore fans, don't get me wrong, that will follow these teams wherever, right? They will follow their teams wherever they go and they will go watch these games. But I understand like it's a global game, but this is not a global competition. You know, it, uh, fair enough if you were starting to incorporate a, a world Champions League, where all the other two countries are then entering, but it's not. It's still the European Cup. It's still the European game. So why are these teams now got to travel? All because UEFA want to line their pockets with a little bit more money. It is a ridiculous and ludicrous idea. I mean, who's going to want to travel on a Wednesday night to a, a game in Dubai? And then it's not just that. The teams have then got to get back and play their domestic games on a Saturday. And they could be anywhere. It's not... They don't care. UEFA don't care about the teams like the Celtics, the Leicester. And that's the bottom line of it. They don't care about the Celtics. They don't care about the Leicester. They want people like the Barcelonas, the Real Madrid, so all their big guns just to go around the world and make them more money, you know, for, for TV deals and, and you know, um, merchandise and all this. They can still make all that money with keeping the game and keeping the competition in Europe. It is a ridiculous joke. Now, I would understand maybe the semi-finals or the finals being played in neutral places, you know, um, but group games, and this is what they're talking about, they're talking about group games. So you're travelling around the world to play group games. Now, the problem with this is you've got idiot countries like Italy who play their Super Cup um, all around the world. Like they played it in Dubai, they played it in Abu Dhabi, and in a couple of weeks' time they're playing it in Thailand between Ju Juventus and AC Milan. So these countries already started doing this, and UEFA are looking at this, and they're looking at these tournaments, like these preseason tournaments going on now, this international cup where it's been played in China, it's been played in Sweden, it's been played in Dublin, it's been played here, it's been played there, you know what I mean? But I feel personally, as a fan watching these games, they don't work. Uh, it's, it, it, they, most clubs just take it as a preseason to get their to get their players fit it doesn't work there's no excitement in it i mean and i don't i think it'd be the same way with the champions league because you're traveling around the world that is a lot to ask for a player who's just played on a saturday then he's traveling around the world to dubai for a, for a day and you know and they've got a train in between then they've got to fly back to play a domestic game again on a saturday or a sunday again you can't do this i don't know where uefa really think that this is going to work but it's not going to work um and then they're talking about doing games on a, on a week weekend when it's domestic league time. That's when people like families like to go as family. All right, 
not so what these days because families can't afford to take all their kids and the mums and dads to football. But when I was growing up, it was a family day out. You know, you, you went with your brother, your sister, your your mum, your dad. You go watch a, watch the football. It's it's like a family day out, and and people still look at it like that. Their weekends are planned around following their clubs. Their lives are planned around following these clubs. Like you, me, everyone else, we're pining for the season to start in two weeks' time because we feel like there's this empty void. And now the Champions League want to take that away and start making us travel around the world playing you you know you ready for Champions League games as well this only goes for the teams in it but it is going to harm football in general I feel it is just a stupid decision so yeah guys this is just my quick thoughts on this new Champions League worldwide tournament it was talked about today you wait for started talking about it guys go out there look it up and you get back to your way F W O T I to the E. Put your comments below. Let me know what you think of this new new idea of doing this Champions League. I think it's an absolute joke. Um, it's all about the money. They don't care about the players, and they don't care about their little teams like the Leicester's, the Celtics. I, I'm not saying that Celtics are a, 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 like a little team, but you know what I mean. But the but the lesser teams. They're not worried about the Leicester's who have achieved great things and they want to go visit the Allianz Arena. They want to go visit the Bernabeu. They want to do all this that I've already touched on. And it's just not fair. It's not fair on the fans to take away Champions League football. Say you're in a group game and and you've got one point you need and you want that home field advantage. You want to play in front of your home fans, that 12th man. You ain't going to get that if you're going to go play this group game in Dubai or wherever. So... Guys, go check it out um, and read up on it yourselves. Then hit back at your boy, the F W O T I to the big E. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. And this was your boy, signing off again. Remember to like, share, subscribe. If it's the first time you watch my videos, hit that subscribe button. I'll be coming at you with more football content. Remember to like, share, subscribe. This is your boy, F W O T I to the big E. And bless people. Peace. I'm out of here.